It's been just over a week since a car struck a Bemidji bus filled with students, causing it to lose control and roll into a ditch. Our Josh Peterson spoke with one of those students and her family and shows us how only time will tell, how only time will help those injured heal. It was just another morning on the school bus until things took a tragic turn. Eight-year-old Yasmin was one of the many students on the bus headed to Northern School. Yasmin and her friends were playing Pokemon when they felt the impact of the bus being struck by a car, forever changing their lives. We had a big bump and I don't know if he rolled over because I wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm. And I got through every, I got thrown everywhere. Yasmin loves school and enjoys math. She also loves to dance. Seen here in this video taken just a few weeks ago, showing Yasmin as a talented and creative kid. For her parents, when they heard about the crash, they thought the worst. It was very scary. And looking at her, you know, injury, I was just, you know, thinking of the worst. As the bus rolled, Yasmin was thrown from her seat broke her collarbone and hit her head, causing deep lacerations to her face, requiring 36 stitches. But Yasmin's road to recovery is only beginning, with her expected recovery to take two to three years. Yasmin says that she is still very sore from the crash. My face, my back, and my collarbone. Before anyone was at the scene to rescue the students from the bus, many of the kids were scared and screaming. Yasmin says she thought the worst. I felt like I was going to die. It's been over a week since the tragic accident happened and signs of the crash still remain on the side of the road. But for Yasmin's family, raw emotions and anger still remain. They should have some kind of like, you know, cognitive thinking of even to slow down or stop if they can't see, you know, don't keep riding, you know, stop. And I'm sure that person rode in and out that, that road numerous of times. I'm just really angry. For an eight-year-old child, recalling such a tragic event can be extremely difficult. At times, it is hard for her to reflect on what happened. Yasmin and her family are very grateful to all those who helped at the scene. For Yasmin, she is looking forward to going back to school and seeing all her friends. Hugging my friends. In Red Lake, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The driver of the car that hit the school bus, Thomas Lee Nielsen, was given a citation by a Beltrami County Sheriff's deputy. Sheriff Phil Hodap says, says there could be additional charges in the coming weeks as law enforcement finalizes their investigation. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.